NelsonTripod.com bringing you another original. It's fecking great. Kikos, this should be fecking great, and instead you're making it fecking terrible. See, those reading classes are really paying off for you, man. Keep it up. Welcome to the Buttons Bullet Inn. It's the 5th of June. E3 is only two weeks away, and we've had a hell of a week this week. First up, and I don't even really know why I'm saying this, because it's not escaped anyone's notice. Fallout 4 was announced. Bizarre. Now we got a quick reveal trailer. I done a breakdown of it, just to talk about some of the aesthetics. We saw some of the interaction with the enemies and the environment. It all looked very good. But one thing that I missed, that was pointed out to me by one of the other editors at Mouse and Joypad, is it looks like there might actually be some weapon modification when we see the power armor in a garage there seems to be a laser rifle on the back with a whole bunch of mods that'll be interesting but yeah Fallout 4 we'll learn more about this at Bethesda's conference I have absolutely no doubt and after last week with Microsoft saying that they had the wrong date up for Halo ODST coming to the Master Chief Collection they've now released it it was released the next day on the Saturday instead of the Friday now this is free to anyone that had the Halo Master Chief Collection before um, a certain date in December. If you didn't, then you have to pay 4 99 for it. But let's face it, for Halo ODST, come on. That's worth it. And another announcement, 2K have announced that XCOM 2 is in production. Now they released a short trailer for this, it included some sort of cinematic things. It doesn't really look like any gameplay. And it looks like XCOM 2 is going to be releasing on PC. It's currently scheduled for November this year for release. Lego's version of Minecraft, Lego World, is now heading early access. And this is going to feature procedurally generated levels built entirely of Lego bricks. What's not to like? And in a surprising move, Valve have finally allowed refunds for products bought through their service, Steam. Now, Steam have been notorious when it comes to refunds. If your PC doesn't run a game, tough. You don't like the game, tough. It's a rubbish early access game, tough. Well, not anymore. They've said that if you buy a game, you have 14 days to request a refund, providing you've not played it for any longer than two hours. This includes pre-order games, as long as you request the refund, once again, within two weeks of the game's official launch date. Now this isn't just for the games, it also goes for any in-game purchases, DLC, and applies to Steam Wallet purchases too. Now Steam have said that even if you fall outside of those parameters, you can still request a refund, and they'll take a look at it. We've had another look into Rainbow Six Siege. Now Ubisoft have released a trailer, this time for their FBI SWAT operatives, showing some of the weapons they're going to have and some of the abilities. And with only 10 days to go until E3, so anyone's guess what's going to happen before then. But you can be damn sure that we'll cover it here. Thanks for watching. Buttons Bulletins are brought to you by Save a Scotsman. Well, more like Save a Scotsman looking at this big bloody grizzly bear beside me. Come back next week for more.